hi all i welcome you to this uh, lecture series on aircraft propulsion in this lecture we will be discussing about uh, the axial flow compressor which is one of the major component in today's jet engine there are different types of compressors but we prefer to use uh, the axial flow compressor uh, the reason being it is uh, more easier to get higher pressure ratios and also the frontal area is less which will reduce the drag eventually of the engine so we will uh, go in depth into the analysis of uh, the compressor blade uh, soon uh, but before that we will try to understand why we have to study about the compressors the first point uh, that comes to mind is the length the length of the axial flow compressor in the typical jet engine is varies between uh, 50 to 60% of the overall length of the engine and that is a very significant uh, part of an engine then uh, the weight the weight of the compressor itself is about 50% of the overall engine weight and hence it is very important to understand uh, the different parameters on which Uh, you can design a lightweight compressor but at the same time it could able to pressurize the air uh, efficiently also uh, the manufacturing cost is uh, about 35 to 40% which is a very significant amount uh, considering the components that are involved in a jet engine so uh, the last uh, reason why we need to study is the maintenance cost 30% of the maintenance cost is being spent on the compressor blade uh, uh, whether it is wear and tear of the compressor blade or uh, is it because if uh, there is a bird hit or something you may have to replace certain blades and that costs a lot that add to the operating cost of the engine and eventually uh, airline has to bear the expenses and hence it is a uh, very important to design a compressor very efficiently and at the same time it could able to you know uh, replace the parts easily so that is a challenge uh, as an uh, aerodynamicist and a propulsion engineer now uh, when we talk about uh, the latest compressors uh, they are having about 50% of thermal efficiency and about 80% of propulsive efficiency now definitely these values are uh, a typical values there will be a range Uh, of efficiency for the present engines and uh, GE and Rolls-Royce are working uh, very hard to improve these efficiency numbers and eventually you also can be part of it if you understand the concepts very clearly so before moving on to the axial flow compressor we will discuss about different types of compressors and why we finally uh, ended up using axial flow compressor for aircraft applications so we will go a little bit uh, in depth into this broadly the compressors can be classified as intermittent flow and continuous flow now as the name suggest the flow is not continuous in the intermittent type of compressor blades the continuous flow compressor can be divided into the dynamic type and the ejector type ejector type uh, has got a little application and we are not using it in the aircraft uh, engines but when it comes to the dynamic uh, compressor it means uh, that there are many ways the air can flow across the compressor basically it can be the radial or it can be the axial flow or it can be a mixture of both the radial and the axial now radial is when the flow enters axially but leaves the compressor radially means perpendicular to the direction of the flow whereas in axial case the air enters axially and leaves the compressor axially now uh, this these are the two major types of compressors that we use in Uh, for aircraft applications and for ground operations now moving on to the intermittent flow uh, these are basically the reciprocating type of compressors where the air is not flowing continuously but with some interval so the name suggests that intermittent flow in this we have the reciprocating type and the rotary type 
One example of a reciprocating uh, type of compressor plate is a mechanical piston where the air is sucked into the cylinder and then is compressed. The second one is the rotary type where uh, the sliding vane, uh, liquid piston, uh, these are all uh, different examples where the rotary mechanism is used to compress the air. Now out of all these compressor blade design, we are more uh, interested in these two designs. One is the axial flow and another is the centrifugal flow compressor. The reason being, these are the two compressors which work uh, efficiently in an aero engine. The reason airplane will be moving in air and along with it the engine is also moving means uh, they are inseparable right so when i say the engine is moving and the main uh, input for the engine is the incoming air so i need to use that incoming air uh, to generate the thrust to eventually move the airplane in the opposite direction right so uh, because of the efficiency factor and there are various other factors as well for example the vibrations involved in this uh, uh, compressors uh, uh, there are a lot of other parameters as well so uh, based on these uh, parameters we finally arrive at these two configurations either we use axial or centrifugal compressor and majority of the time we will be using only the uh, axial flow compressor for aero engines so in the next lecture we will be discussing about uh, the axial flow compressor and its working principle.